Is the Sacramento Kings City Edition jersey supposed to just look like a default home or away jersey? I don't know. What's going on guys, it's Mike, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the De'Aaron Fox Sacramento King City Edition jersey. And to be honest, just from taking a quick glimpse and just seeing it on court, man, it just kind of looks almost exactly the same as the old late 90s, 2000s Sacramento Kings jersey. I feel like the last couple years Sacramento Kings had a couple cool designs for City Edition jerseys. I thought it was kind of well thought out, and I felt like last year could easily be this year's City Edition jersey. I felt like they blended a whole bunch of different features from past jerseys and did a good job to create a new jersey. With this one, it kinda has that, like, not recycled, like a, a classic kinda look compared to other City Edition jerseys. So in today's video, we're just gonna go ahead and unbox the jersey, take a closer look at the finer details, and kinda see which errors that they blended in to create this jersey. At the moment, I feel like this one's pretty much widely unavailable, but if I do find some places, I'm gonna go ahead and link them in the description below. Um, right here, got this at fanatics.com for 130 bucks. I got this at a pre-order, got it in, and um, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. And before we get started, if you guys find this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel is just by hitting like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so when I drop new videos or there's sales or new releases, you don't miss out. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, first look, boom, beautiful swoosh. You got Sacktown in the front. I mean, that is uh, the old style classic feel. You got De'Aaron Fox. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. First, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the 75th anniversary Jerry West logo. So right here, they use a plastic material, stitched down. Beautiful compared to regular Swingman jerseys because they usually put a heat press piece. Plastic and stitched. Got the 75 on there. Dope. Right up here you got the collar. Rib material. Purple with a white streak that goes down the middle. Arm openings, you got the same style. You can see the jersey base. Pure black base. And then right here you got De'Aaron Fox. Only three letters. White and it's heat pressed. Then we got the numbering. We got white in the middle, and then you got purple and gray trim. All heat pressed on this jersey. Five, and then at the bottom right corner, you got dry fit. And there's nothing, unfortunately, on the side panel. And that is the back of the jersey. On the front side, the collar is the same style. Got a rounded collar, purple and white. Arm openings, the same style. So right over here, you got the NBA logo, you see where it's stitched, moved off center right here, size large, pretty standard stuff, retail tags, 130 bucks, and going over to the 75th anniversary, Nike swoosh, just beautiful, plastic material, just like the logo, and it's stitched down, but you can see it all in the light, it looks nice. Then, you got the lettering and numbering, so you got Sacktown. So it's a nickname for Sacramento, Sac Town, and they use the same script as the past. Uh, they were in Rochester and Kansas City, I believe. But you can see it's one whole heat press piece, Sac Town across the chest with that gray and purple trim. Numbering's the same style as the back. Same thing, heat pressed, just a smaller version. Then right down here, we got the Swingman. 48 large city edition tab and then Sacramento proud so that one's screen printed right onto the jersey and that is pretty much the whole jersey and since I'm gonna go ahead and ship this to a customer I'm not gonna try it on I don't want to try it on and rip it accidentally and then I'm screwed but just taking a look at it first off I just want to say I own one of the old Jason Williams 2000s um, you know, jersey like this, that black and purple, same, pretty much the same style. It's literally like a carbon copy, just with different font. But when I'm judging it just from like being a city edition jersey, like Sacramento had made a couple better looking ones and well, well thought out in the last couple years. So this one, I feel like they kind of got lazy on it. They put Sacktown, which 
you know, the script is dope just because they used it in different eras. But, I mean, numbering is your standard, like, Nike numbering that they had for a minute. They just add Sacramento Proud. It's, I got nothing going for me. Like, judging it from just a City Edition jersey, they could do so much better. Like, yeah, I can't. Man. They could easily make this a Homer away jersey, and I would be totally fine with it. It would look sick. But, this is a City Mixtape Edition jersey. I mean, what, what features are we blending here? <laughs> like I said, I mean, I think it looks nice, but in terms of judging it, I gotta just keep it real. They're god lazy. At least you get the 75th anniversary Jerry West logo and the dope swoosh. But, what do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, thanks again for watching guys. On to the next video.